what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we'll be reviewing some Dungeons and Dragons figures. First on the list, we got Hank. We got Bobby and Uni from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Now these are detailed, posable action figures based on the cartoon series. And I got these from Ollie's for about 10 bucks each, which were worth the money. I still have about five or six figures I'm still missing from this line. I got to get the rest of the cast. And then when I have all the figures, this will be a worthwhile set to add to my Dungeons & Dragons collection. These figures are so awesome, it's why I'm picking them up. But first and foremost, we do got plans today. We'll be hitting up a church flea market, because I won't be able to do my toy hunt till I get home from camp on the 20th at the exchange. So I got 13 bucks saved up, and we're heading to St. Angela's Flea Market here in White Oak. You will be seeing me record, but now that we're done with the talk about where we're going and the toys we're going to be reviewing, we're going to get down to looking at the artwork on the boxes before we open each figure. First, we got Hank. He's got his energy bow. Oh, man, that is just so cool. And he's got a dice, like, dice for these figures, which is pretty cool. And look at that artwork. Oh, that's so cool. Then look at the back of the box. Got a product shot of Hank and the other figures. We have all three of these, except for about the rest of them. But other than that, we got them, most of them. Next on the list is Bobby and Uni. We got some nice product shots of more Dungeons and Dragons. Bobby and Uni. Here, oh, they look so cute. Aww. And it comes with a dice, and Bobby's got his club, so he can go clubbing. <laughs> but now we're going to have to get these puppies open, which means I better go get my scissors or some sort of tool to cut this open. I'll be back. Where are those scissors? Scissors, scissors, scissors. Where are my tools? Sorry, I'm trying to find my tools. So I could do this. I should probably think of that before I start a video, but today I got so excited I guess I couldn't think. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm just going to have to force them open carefully to get them open because I can't find where I put them. Oh, sometimes a mine's a terrible thing to waste. And yes, that's from Small, small Soldiers. Where are and even with my fingernails cut, I still can't get them open. Where are those scissors? I swear I have them here somewhere. Where did they go? Yeah, this is going to be one of those looks around for what I need until I find it. I hate to be cliche, but I guess I'm using my wallet's key because that's sharp enough to cut through. When in doubt you can't find something, use your head. This key is sharp enough to cut through it. I'm just going to have to be real careful with this key. Oh, yeah, it works, more or less. There we go. First one open. And then the second one come up. And we're getting them open. So far, so good. Let's get the other one open if I can get this. And there we go. Pop open the bottom. Come on. There we go. Pull it out. Close up the packaging. Because we're done with the packaging. Not a bad little trick for opening up a figure, huh? Sometimes my genius succeeds myself sometimes. Just like the first, we're going to do it with Bobby and Uni. Got it open. Pull it out like so. 
So now there's a little bit more work with getting them out of the packaging and armed up for battle. First, we're going to start with good old Bobby. Bobby and Uni. We got it open. Look at Bobby. He's so well detailed. Oh, man. He's so cool and well detailed. I'm going to have to loosen up his joints, though. Afraid of breaking them, though. Yep, he's really tight, so I'm afraid of breaking them. I might have to just loosen up his joints. But yeah, look at that paint sculpt. And look at that head. Oh, he's really well done. I'll give you that. <laughs> but now we're going to open up the pack, which has his weapon and good old uni. Here we got his club, so he can go clubbing some bad guys. And here's Uni. Aw, ain't Uni a little cute unicorn? And we got the dice. The roll the die. Sorry, I couldn't help it. It looks like we rolled an 11. <laughs> That's just fun. If I ever had a chance to play the real Dungeons & Dragons game, I'd definitely keep these dice. But now Bobby's got his club and he's ready to go. Club some bad guys. Oh, yeah. He stands very well, if I can get him to stand. Oh yeah, he can stand, and here is his buddy Uni. Aw, they look cute together, if I do say so myself. Next, we're going to open up Hank. Let's see about ripping this out of the plastic paper prison. Oh yeah, look at Hank. He looks like a stud, man. Even his figure looks really good. Oh man, this is cool. Sure, he's a little bit tight in places, but nothing a good loosening can't help. Have to loosen him off camera. Yeah, his other arm is just really tight. His legs are really tight. I'm afraid. Oh, wait, we got one leg loose without breaking it. That's good. But yeah, I'm afraid to break the other leg, but we loosened up one leg. And now let's open up Hank's weapon of choice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got another die, so let's go roll it. Oh, we got a two. So we can hit him with the Thunder Shock bow. The bow. If I can get him to wield it. Is he supposed to wield this thing if I can't get him to hold it? Oh, this is a real difficult one. I'll give you that. Let's see what the box says, how to get him to wield his bow and arrow. Okay, I'm supposed to get it in his other hand. Like so. If I can get it to... And then I'm supposed to... Like this... And there we got Hank with his bow and arrow, ready to go shoot some monsters with that. Oh, man, that is just so cool. Looks like he just popped out of the cartoon. Oh, man, I love this. These figures are so awesome and so well detailed. Oh, they're so cool and so much fun. But now, before I get down to end of this video, we're going to get down to comparisons. Of course, we got... Diane, which I'm going to have to get her wielding her staff with both hands because she's having no trouble wielding her staff on the shelf. So we're going to have to get her dual wielding her staff. And then we'll show off most of the Dungeons and Dragons characters I actually own. Oh, and I knocked down poor Hank. Hank, he fell down on the job. But here we got the Dungeons and Dragons team. So far, ready to save the world from venture. And take down some monsters. Hank has a little bit of trouble standing, so I have to really figure out how to stand him up. And he's a really tricky figure to stand and likes to tip over. But yeah, these figures are so much fun. So much fun to look at. And they're so cool. Shame Hank has our trouble standing. But other than that, they're a lot of fun. I love these figures, and I'm definitely going to have to try to pick up the other figures in the wave 
just to add the whole Dungeons and Dragons collection to my shelf. These figures are a whole lot of fun. They're awesome if you grew up with the cartoon in the 80s, but I grew up with the cartoon when I got it on DVD. And this is one amazing cartoon, and these are one amazing action figures. I'm so happy to be adding these to my collection. They're so much fun, and I will try to pick up the other five figures to complete my set. But in the meantime, we'll be going to the St. Angeles Flea Market, and this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out. YouTube land.